Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here with a book haul video. I haven't done a book haul video since May and although I haven't been reading books during this time, I still managed to accumulate over 20 books for this book haul video. So I'm going to get started straight away. I won't go into too much detail about all these books because this video would be very, very long because you guys know that I can ramble on like I am doing now. The first book that I got, I would like to do a big thank you to the Never Never Book Subscription Box. I will leave a link to them below. And they gave me this book, which is Our Taker by Tracy M. Joyce. This is the first in a fantasy series that is going to be really, really great. In this book, we have the main character who is Asura, and she basically has to leave behind the life that she had to go to this new mysterious and powerful new world where she has to learn how everything runs, and it's just very, very different. Next up I got Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas. I don't think I need to talk about this one very much. It is kind of like a spin-off book in the Throne of Glass series that features around Kale, um, or Cal, whoever you guys really pronounce his name. Um, like I said, I'm not going to get into too much detail about this because if you guys have read the series then you'll know what this book is about. But if you haven't, the Throne of Glass series is a YA fantasy book that features around a young girl called Selina. Do you ever just look back at the Throne of Glass series and think of the first book and how simple and easy times were because that just happened to me. Next up we have The Bone Witch by Rin Chupeko. I did try to start reading this book but that was when my reading slump hit so I never actually got to enjoy it as much as I should have. I think I only got like a few chapters in anyway but I will try again and I will read it but yay for the stunning hardcover. So in this book you have T who is a witch and although witchery is kind of like a normal thing in this world she is a dark witch which means that she can bring the dead back to life and that terrifies everybody. Well ever in her own homeland which means that T is now forced out to go and find guidance from this other group of witches who are also necromancers and her life is pretty much changed forever. Then we have When Dimple Met Rishi by Sam Sandia Menon. I have heard very good things about this book. It is a YA contemporary that is quite fun and uplifting to read and it also has diverse characters which we need more of. So you have Rishi, so you have Dibble who is this huge tech nerd who is trying to get into university. Then you have Rishi who is rich, good looking and a hopeless romantic and I'm going to assume that they fall in love and that other problems will ensue. The next book that I have is Dare by Natalia Jasta. First of all, I'm in love with this author. She's not only kind and an amazing writer, but she has some amazing books out there. So she writes a lot of fantastic romance, including Touch, Trick, and Now Dare. So in this, you have a prisoner. Her name is Flair. She is very mad and angry, and she's just made of fire, apparently. And then there is a cold-hearted prince called Jaren, and a mythical shipwreck, which kind of throws both of their lives together. It's going to be so good. This next book is for the book club um, run by Dimix Joondalup. If you guys are a local in Perth, I do recommend that you guys check out Dimix Joondalup. I will leave a link to the page below. Um, they're a book club that runs on the first Tuesday of every month, and it's always featured around a YA book. And this month's one is Saving Jazz by Kate McCaffrey. She's a local author, and I'm actually really excited to read this. And it's also signed, which is really cool. So Kate McCaffrey likes to write books um, that feature around teenage problems like depression, suicide, drugs, and body image as well and so in Saving Jazz um, pretty much she has it all. She's got the looks, the grades and the friends and one day when she's at a house party she discovers what can happen when your mistakes go viral. These next two books I have won from Book Club so thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to even get free books in this great space that you guys have provided for readers. So the first one is The State of Grace by Rachel Lucas. This is another contemporary book and basically it's about a young girl and sometimes um, she feels like everyone else was handed a copy of the rules and that hers got lost. And next up was a huge anticipated release of mine and that is Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. So this is the first book in The Trials of Morrigan Crow. I know it's going to be really quick on all of them but I can't do this book justice without reading the actual blurb so I'll try and be quick. Morrigan Crow is cursed. Born on an unlucky day she is for all local misfortunes. From hailstorms to heart attacks and worst of all, the curse means that Morrigan is doomed to die at midnight on eventide. But as Morrigan awaits her fate, a strange and remarkable man named Jupiter North appears. Chased by black smoke, hounds and shadowy hunters on horseback, he whisks her away into the safety of a secret magical city called Nevermore. It's there that Morrigan discovers Jupiter has chosen her to contend for a place in the city's most prestigious organization, the Wondrous Society. In order to join, she must compete in four difficult and dangerous trials against hundreds of other children, each boasting an extraordinary talent that sets them apart. Except for Morrigan, he doesn't seem to have any special talent at all. To stay in the safety of Nevermore for good, Morrigan will need to find a way to pass the tests, or she'll have to leave the city to confront her deadly fate. 
get excited. Thank you so much to Penguin for sending me out this next book. It is a highly anticipated book and that is The Build Up Season by Megan Jacobson. 17 year old Iliad Piper is named after war and angry at the world. Growing up with a violent father and abused mother, she doesn't know how to do relationships, family or friends. A love hate friendship with Max turns into a prank war and she destroys her first true friendship with misfit Mia. Illy takes off her armor for nobody until she meets Jared, someone who's as complicated as she is. So for these next two books I'd like to thank Text Publishing. I am very excited to read both of these books. The first one is Wilder Country by Mark Smith. This is the second book in the Road to Winter series and it's just so great because it is basically like this post-apocalyptic kind of world that is set in Australia. So it's finally a book that I can enjoy and read and actually know what places they're talking about. And next up is A Beautiful Mess by Claire Christian. So this book is the winner of the text prize of 2016 and I can understand why because everyone that I have heard that has read this book has absolutely adored it. Things have been going so well for Ava since her best friend Kelly died. Even before she got thrown out of school for shouting at the principal, there's a simmering rage and all the weird destructive choices. The the only thing going right for Ava is her job at the Magic Kebab, which is where she meets Gideon. Skinny, shy, anxious Gideon, a mad poet and collector of vinyl records with an aversion to social media. He lives in his head, she lives in her grief. The only people who can help them move on with their lives is each other. I also mistakenly went on to Book Depository. And that is where I really lose all control because I bought a few books from Book Depository but I think that my most prized collection of books that I purchased from there is, drumroll please, another edition of The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. So this is like the special edition um, new exclusive material which I already have all of because I buy every exclusive special edition book by him, but in this one in particular is basically the paperback version of I think the 10 year anniversary. And it doesn't really do it justice on camera and photos of this book, but it has like the gold shine on the lettering that just is so stunning in person. If you guys haven't heard of The Book Thief before, but if you're watching my channel I'm sure that you have. It is an amazing historical fiction and you guys have to read it because out of every book here that I would recommend to you guys it will always be The Book Thief. If you guys haven't noticed not, I might have mentioned a few times that I'm in a reading slump and I find that the best way for me to get out of a reading slump is to be reading really trashy romance stories that you know is going to have a happy ending and that you just fall in love with these characters that are so predictable and everything like that. So I did a bit of googling and tried to find myself some books that I would enjoy and I ended up ordering this one completely blind called Black Lies by Alessandra Torre and apparently this has got really really high ratings so I'm actually pretty excited to read it but it also looks like it's a book that I can't really read in public. Basically it sounds like you have the main character who's a female and she has these two different men in her lives and it says on here if you think you've heard the story before trust me you haven't and it just has so much sass already that I'm very excited to get around to it. One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McMahon Manus, you have a geek, a jock, a criminal, a princess, and a murderer. Who would you believe? Volume 7 of Saga. This is a graphic novel by Fiona Staples and Brian K. Vaughan. If you guys haven't heard of Saga and you guys do want to start getting into more graphic novels, I recommend it a good place to start. It's one of the first ones that I read and I really love it so much. I have heard so much about this next book. Um, everyone that I have known to have read it has really enjoyed it, so I'm going to probably fall in love with it as well. And that is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. This next one is also a highly anticipated read and it is the third book in the series for To All the Boys I Have Loved Before by Jenny Han and it is always and forever Lara Jean. So this is a contemporary romance with diverse characters. It is also going to be a movie soon. Well like the first book's going to be a movie soon. If you guys just want something fluffy and happy and romantic I would definitely recommend these books. How stunning is the cover for They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. This is a book that just screams take photos of me and I will. I will baby. Hello? I'm calling from Deathcast. I regret to inform that sometime in the next 24 hours you'll be meeting an untimely death. On behalf of everyone here at Deathcast, we are so sorry to lose you. Live this day to the fullest, okay? Basically I've heard just amazing things about this as well, so of course I bought it and of course I am eagerly awaiting to read it. I have been eyeing off this next book for quite some time because I love dragons, so of course when I could see the hardcover of A Natural History of Dragons, a memoir by Lady Trent by Marie Brennan, I had to pick it up. You, dear reader, continue at your own risk. It is not for the faint of heart, no more so than the study of dragons itself. But such study offers rewards beyond compare to stand in a dragon's presence, even for the briefest of moments, even at the risk of one's life, is a delight that one experience can never be forgotten. And second last in my book haul, I finally got God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. When I say finally, I just mean like, I'm finally reading Nevernight at the moment. 
So it's not finally got God's grave, it's just finally I'm getting around to reading these books because everybody I know loves them. I'm about halfway through Nevernight and I'm just trying to like push on through because it's a real struggle. But I am enjoying it, but I also just haven't been completely sucked into the volume and gravity that everyone else seems to be yet. So hopefully I will because these books are absolutely gorgeous. So Nevernight is like an epic adult fantasy that's actually really, really good to read. It is very detailed and very big book. Don't you just love the English language and how I can come up with such great words like big book. And for the last one that I got, it is Tales of Horror by H.P. Lovecraft in the Barnes & Noble Leatherbound edition because I'm a sucker for these books. So there you guys have my book haul from the last few months, five months I think it is. Um, for someone who hasn't really read maybe one or two books in that time, I definitely shouldn't have accumulated so many books, but everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out all the links below to the different book subscription boxes and books and all the other great stuff that I will add in because I've already forgotten half the stuff that I said. Don't forget to check out my lovely bath bomb range which is now available on my website. Um, I will leave a link to that below but it is at tillyandherbooks.com. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and I shall hopefully see you guys again soon. Thank you for watching and have a lovely bookish day. Bye. Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here to show you guys my new bath product range that I have just started on my website at tillyandherbooks.com. I am very excited to show you guys